Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Kentucky State Police continuing to search for a missing Central Kentucky woman who hasn't been seen in weeks. Hospitals in Louisville are preparing in case Ebola reaches the Commonwealth. We'll show you the preparations. Two thieves robbed two UK students on campus and at gunpoint. WKYT News at 430 starts now. Good afternoon to you, Amber Philpott and Jennifer Palumbo reporting. There is concern today in a small Kentucky town over the whereabouts of a missing woman. 33-year-old Norma Brown hasn't been seen in several weeks, and her family is worried. What's even more troubling to them is that relatives say the man she was last seen with is now charged with murder. It's our top story at 4.30. I am told that the last time that Norma Brown was seen was along Kentucky 211 here in Salt Lake, and the man that she was riding with was Kevin Howard. Now, Howard is now in the Fayette County Jail because police say he is one of two men accused of killing a Grant County teacher and a college professor. Her family says Brown was friends with Howard, and now they're concerned she basically has disappeared. Yeah, I've been going out with my niece and looking. To see if we could find the body somewhere or see where she was at. I mean, we went to friends' houses and everything. Relatives say they're worried because Brown has not picked up her latest Social Security check, and also they have not received any text messages from her. More on her and why state police were involved in the investigation coming up at 5:30. But for now, in Bath County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Norma Brown is just over five feet tall and wears glasses. State police in Moorhead are heading up the investigation. We are learning new information about a robbery at the University of Kentucky. Campus police now tell us that the two victims of the crime were students. This holdup is just one of several recent scares that have prompted crime bulletins on campus. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel has reaction now from students in this Crime Tracker report. This robbery is just the latest of several crimes that have happened near UK's campus this semester. We didn't know it was a gunshot first, just a big loud boom. Um, and one of our friends is actually walking right here and he heard it and he just sprinted into the house and then and we kind of realized what it was. Austin Mullen heard the shot around 1130 last night right outside of his fraternity house on Pennsylvania Avenue. Shortly after, UK sent out a crime alert to students and staff. Police say two men armed with guns robbed two students of their cell phones. The robbers had followed those students all the way from Euclid Avenue. At some point after the robbery, police say a shot was fired. It's unclear who fired that shot, but a shell Casing was found near the scene. No one was hurt. This robbery follows another that happened last week on East Maxwell, not far from campus. Students we talked to say while these crimes are alarming, they're not too worried. I mean, I don't live too far from here, so you know, seeing something happen kind of like right, right on your doorsteps, a little bit, a little bit concerning. But overall, I think campus safety is pretty solid. And you know what? At the end of the day. These things happen. UK police say they are reviewing campus surveillance video to try and get a better description of the suspects. In Lexington, Whitney Watzel, WKYT. The suspects are described as black men, about five foot nine with medium builds. One had cornrows, another was wearing dark, baggy clothes. The other was wearing dark jeans, a black and white striped sweatshirt, and a white or light pink polo style ball cap. Well, keep your umbrella handy. You're going to need it for whatever mm -hmm. you have planned this weekend. Many parts of the bluegrass are seeing rain right now, and there's more to come. WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is tracking it on First Alert Defender. Chris? Yeah, those rain chances uh, continue to ramp up as we go through the next several hours. So Friday evening plans looking soggy uh, outdoors. That includes a lot of high school football games. A lot of ground games will be in full swing out there on the fields tonight. Here's live First Alert Defender. Steadier rains now beginning to press on into town. We've got the occasional burst of some heavy rain as well thrown in there. So again, if you're going out, umbrellas a must this evening. Where we're picking up on some steady rains from Mount Sterling and Owingsville, Carlisle, Nicholas County, Flemingsburg, back toward the Lexington Metro. Even in between the steady rains, we're getting a little bit of mist that is flying around out there. And in Southern Kentucky, don't be surprised if you don't have some rumbles of thunder. We'll keep an eye 
on this area. It's an area that picked up a lot of water yesterday. Again, this morning, we've got one more round of some gusty showers and thunderstorms dropping some heavy rain into parts of south central and southeastern Kentucky. Look what's coming in from the west, and that extends a little farther back into parts of the Paducah area. That's a lot of showers for your Friday evening plans. If you're out, Forecast with the increasing amounts of rain. Can't rule out a little thunder across southern Kentucky. Soggy evening as temperatures mainly hold in the 50s. What about that Saturday and Sunday forecast? We'll break it down for you hour by hour in just a moment. There are no Ebola cases in or even near Louisville, but the VA Medical Center there is working to develop a plan just in case. Louisville's VA Medical Center treats patients who travel all over the world. That's why it's now assembling a special team to treat Ebola patients. The medical center is also changing its triage or screening process. Staff will now ask all incoming patients about recent travel. It's a key element of identifying those patients early is uh, have you traveled to affected countries. The Military Affairs and Public Protection Committee chairman says it's a wise move, especially since 60 Kentucky National Guard troops have been sent to Africa to help deal with the Ebola crisis. We are learning more about the safe return of a Madison County teenager who had been missing for nearly a week. State police tell WKYT that Sierra Reinhardt has been found in Greer City, South Carolina by the police there. The 15-year-old was last seen on I-75 last week, possibly getting into someone's car. State police do not believe she was abducted or hurt during the seven days she was missing. She is now back in the custody of her mother. You can get your garden ready for winter this weekend. The city of Lexington is giving away free mulch tomorrow at the old city landfill site on Old Frankfort Pike. Free pickup is avail available from 8 until noon on a first come, first serve basis. For more information, you can call LexCall at 311. An actor with Kentucky ties is already taking a break from his honeymoon to work. How George Clooney surprised thousands of fans.